All right, so with the deadlift, there's a couple of things that we want to do or we want to think about. Um, number one is, so with the flat back, okay? So if I was, let's say, doing a trap bar deadlift, which would be that bar over there, I'm gonna set up in here, I'm gonna grab the handles, flat back, okay, number one. Number two is your shins are always vertical, okay? And your shoulder blades are always over the middle of the bar. So in the trap bar, you see you have the bar where you put the plates, your handles, where you grip the handle and your shin should be all lined up. It should not be out in front of you, okay? So what you wanna always see is straight shins and your shoulder blades directly over the middle of that bar. So if I was using a sumo deadlift with a straight bar, right? Again, my back, my shoulder blades should be directly over this. That will tell you how high or low your butt should be, okay? Now, that's kind of based on how long or short your limb lengths are in relation to your torso, okay? So your butt might be a little bit higher, might be a little bit lower. How do you know? Shins vertical, shoulder blade above the center of that bar, okay? Now, the next thing is as you stand up, you wanna have a completely straight line at the top of your deadlift. Uh, what most people tend to do when they're unfamiliar with this is they arch backward. We don't wanna do that. We wanna lock out and be completely straight. Hips all the way through and abs engaged, okay? So you don't wanna to start to do this. Your ribcage should not be pointing up, okay? Your ribcage should be down right here. Um, the, the last kind of big piece of this is when you see people deadlift and they're kind of like jerking the weight off the ground, you'll see their arms bend and then start to pull. That's a big no-no, okay? So instead, I really want you, the big focus I want you to have is get your lats as tight as possible, okay? So when my lats are tight, my upper body is connected to my lower body, which is gonna allow me to be stronger, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for the ground, you'll see my arms lock out, and my shoulder blades begin to move down my back. And I wanna hold this the whole time. And as I begin to reach and find my position at the bottom, from here I brace, or this is how I breathe, I wanna sniff the air to fill my belly, hold that breath, and then place it back down on the ground, okay? Um, so really being connected with your lower and upper body, if the weight's just too much where you feel like you can't be tight in here, then we gotta drop the weight and we gotta focus on that first. Um, because yeah, you might be able to lift some weight now, but you're setting yourself up for a ceiling and possibly injuries if you don't focus on this, okay? Um, and then the, the second piece of to think about as far as the lift actually goes is rather than thinking about picking the weight off the ground, think about pressing the ground away from you, okay? So I'm thinking about leg pressing the ground away versus standing up, okay? So it'll be like this. So I'm here, I'm leg pressing the ground away versus picking it up, right? Small mental shift in how I look at it, big difference in how it feels and what you're gonna be capable.